కృపా వార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము కృపా గ్రేస్ నా కృప నీకు చాలును నీ బలహీనత ఎందు నా బలము పరిపూర్ణ మగుచున్నది పురిందేలకు రాసిన రెండవ పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము తొమ్మిదవ వచనము మై గ్రేస్ ఈజ్ సఫిషియంట్ పథి ఇన్ యువ వీక్నెస్ మై స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ సెకండ్ కొరిందియన్స్ చాప్టర్ ట్వెల్వ్ వర్స్ నైన్ నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును శ్రమలతో నిండిన నా జీవితములో శ్రమలతో నిండిన నా జీవితములో నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ఆశ్రయించుటకు స్థలమే లేదు ఆదరణ పొందుటకు మనుషులు లేరు ఆశ్రయించుటకు స్థలమే లేదు ఆదరణ పొందుటకు మనుషులు లేరు సంపూర్ణ జీవము నీచెడు నాథ సంపూర్ణ జీవము నీచెడు నాథ నీవే నా ధారము ఇలలో నీవే నా ధరణ నీవే నా ధారము ఇలలో నీవే నా ధరణ నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును సింహపు బోనులో పడవేసినను అగ్ని మాధ్యమము ఉంచినను సింహపు బోనులో పడవేసినను అగ్ని మాధ్యమము ఉంచినను హృదయము కలవర పడు సమయములో హృదయము కలవర పడు సమయములో నీవే నా ధారము ఇలలో నీవే నా ధరణ నీవే నా ధారము ఇలలో నీవే నా ధరణ నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును నాధా నిరకాలస్యమైతే నాధా నిరకాలస్యమైతే జారకుండ కాపాడుమో నన్ను పడకుండా నిలువబెట్టుమో 
జారకుండా కాపాడుమో నన్ను పడకుండా నిలువబెట్టుమో నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును ప్రియుడా నాకు నీ కృప చాలును గ్రేస్ కృప నా కృప నీకు చాలును నీ బలహీనత ఎందు నా బలము పరిపూర్ణ మగుచున్నది కొరిందీలకు రాసిన రెండవ పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము తొమ్మిదవ వచనము మై గ్రేస్ ఈజ్ సఫిషియంట్ ఫర్ థీ ఇన్ యువర్ వీక్నెస్ మై స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ సెకండ్ కొరిండియన్స్ చాప్టర్ ట్వెల్వ్ వర్స్ నైన్ కృపామయుడా నీలో నా కృపామయుడా నీలో నా నివసింపజేసి నందునా ఇది గో నస్తు తుల సింహాసనం కృపామయుడా తాలేని నాకు జీవ కిరీటమే చోటకు మీ కృపాను వేడక శాశ్వత కృపగా మారెను కృపామయుడా ఏ అపాయమున గుడారము సమీపించనియక నా మార్గములన్నిటిలో నీవే ఆశ్రయమైనందున కృపామయుడా నీలు నిలచి ఆత్మ ఫలములు ఫలించుట కొరకు పైన మెండుగా ఆత్మవర్షము కృమరించు కృపామయుడా ఏ యోగ్యత లేని నాకు జీవ కిరీటమే చోటకు మీ కృపాను వేడక శాశ్వత కృపగా మారెను కృపామయుడా గ్రేస్ కృప మై గ్రేస్ ఈజ్ సఫిషియంట్ పథి ఇన్ యువర్ వీక్నెస్ మై స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ సెకండ్ ఫోర్ ఇండియన్స్ చాప్టర్ ట్వెల్వ్ వర్స్ నైన్ నా కృప నీకు చాలును నీ బలహీనత ఎందు నా బలము పరిపూర్ణ మగుచు ఉన్నది కొరిందీలకు వ్రాసిన రెండవ పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము తొమ్మిదవ వచనము what a wonderful promise 
my grace is sufficient for thee in your weakness my strength is made perfect these are the words of none other than jesus christ spoken to all the chosen apostle of god is jesus christ present in body and flesh during the apostolic mission during the ministry of apostle paul no much before the times of <clears throat> the ministry of uh, apostle paul jesus christ was crucified nailed to the cross and dead and buried and rose from the dead behold even though i am crucified buried and dead i live forever mrutude naithini gaani yuga yugamulu sajeevuni ga unnanu jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever idigo mrutude naithini gaani yuga yugamulu sajeevuni ga unnanu in response to the petition in response to the prayer of all jesus christ is answering to paul what a great audience paul had with none other than jesus christ paul is an eloquent speaker paul is an excellent writer paul has many credentials paul has many worldly virtues paul was educated at the feet of gamaliel paul was very eager regarding his religion paul used to do violence ill treat all those that follow jesus christ that follow the resurrected christ such a person paul was converted this is the mission of the church the mission of the church is to take bad people and make them good this is the conversion expected of the church unfortunately during the times of pandemic during these times of pandemic the churches are almost closed the gospel services have been curtailed what an agony what a sorrow what a loss in the churches where the true light shines the church which is the bride of jesus christ the church where the lamp stand of god is present the church to which jesus has promised the gates of hell will not prevail over you the gates of hell will not prevail over you the gates of hell will not be able to prevail over you what a wonder what a great promise given to the church such is the power such is the authority such is the blessing given to church such is the ordination given to the priests preaching the word i have ordained you to go forth and preach the word to paul jesus christ the resurrected christ is telling my grace is sufficient for thee in your weakness my strength is made perfect
Paul always had audience with Christ, audience with God. The revelations given to Paul are so astonishing, so great. Paul was praying for a particular difficulty, for a particular problem, for a particular issue, for a particular weakness in his body. Then, in response to the prayer of Paul, Jesus Christ is telling that My grace is sufficient for you. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Paul was praying that the thorn in his flesh be removed. There is a thorn in my flesh. How can we tolerate a thorn in our flesh? The thorn will be piercing and it will be causing much anxiety, much trouble, much suffering, much pain. With such great pain, with such great agony, Paul is pleading, praying, petitioning, requesting, offering his intense form of supplications. Lord, remove this thorn of flesh from my body, yet not my will, let your will be done. Paul followed the footsteps of Jesus Christ, so we can follow Paul. As I follow Jesus Christ, you too follow me. You also have the mind of Jesus Christ. Because Paul had the mind of Jesus Christ for the church, Paul is urging the church to have the mind of Jesus Christ. If all the churches all around the globe were to have the mind of Jesus Christ, the whole world would have been evangelized long back and the whole uh, earth would have been converted from bad to good and the true Christendom might have already arrived. A particular believer has a question. What is this? Ever since uh, I was a school-going child, during my school days, during my college days, during my university days, during my career as a professional, all through these uh, four decades, pastors, preachers, bishops have been preaching, preaching, preaching. They have been preaching that Jesus is going to come. Jesus is going to come. Jesus is going to come as a judge and he will take us into the Zion, New Jerusalem, the place for the holies, the place for the righteous, the place for those that believed in Jesus Christ, only those that accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior by believing in the atonement made by Jesus Christ by offering himself on the cross. All those are judged as righteous. What about you? Are you hearing the gospel for the first time? Are you hearing the gospel for the first time? Then you have to make a choice whether or not to believe in Jesus Christ. Choose for yourself. Make a two column table on a A4 sheet on a paper white paper and on the left hand left hand column write down all the things that you are going to gain by receiving Jesus Christ as your personal savior on the right hand side you also write the losses you endure for the sake of receiving Jesus Christ as your savior you will note that the losses you endure all through your earthly journey on this world surpass, they stand out compared to the number of gains you receive in this world. But 
the one thing that is assured for all those that believe in Jesus Christ and that believe in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ is forgiveness of sins being judged as righteous and eternal life compared to the eternal weight of glory that is going to be revealed before us the present day tribulation is not worth considering all through the life of Paul what riches Paul has uh, uh, benefited how many apartments Paul have how many fields Paul have how many wives Paul had how many children Paul had what is the inheritance Paul has left when you see from the sight of worldly wise men the life of Paul appears to be in vain appears to be futile but when we see in the light of the knowledge pure knowledge that is from heaven you will come to know that you will come to know that the life of Paul is a pleasing aroma to God has been a blessing to humanity has been a blessing to mankind no other apostle has ever written more than half of the books of the Bible out of the 27 books of the Bible 14 of the 27 books of the Bible were written by Paul can you believe such is the grace of Jesus Christ that is granted to Paul it's not by his strength it's not by his wisdom it's not by his knowledge it's not by his power it's not by the earthly uh, credentials that Paul possessed it's only by the grace of Jesus Christ it's only by the grace of Jesus Christ what all Paul has accomplished is truly by the grace of Jesus Christ by the Christ life that is existing in Paul as even though our outward uh, outward appearance outward person is shrinking our inward person is being renewed each day do you have such personal experience do you have such personal experience even though our outward even though our outward even though our outward person is shrinking our inward being is renewed each day ma bahya purushudu dina dinamo kshininchinanu ma antaranga purushudu dina dinamo nutana parachabadichunnadu paul could so clearly distinguish the outward being from the inward being there are two things the outward being and the inward being in a person the inward being is the soul the lamp that god has put their deeds will follow them నరుని ఆత్మ ఎహోవా పెట్టిన దీపము మన్నైనది వెనకట్టి వెళ్ళి తిరిగి మన్నైపోవును ఆత్మ దానిని అనుగ్రహించి దేవుని యొక్కకు వెళ్ళను వారి క్రియలు వారిని వెంట పోవును వీ హ్యావ్ టూ బీయింగ్స్ ఇన్ అవ హ్యూమన్ ఫామ్ వన్ ఈస్ ద అవుట్వర్డ్ పర్సన్ అండ్ ద అదర్ ఈస్ ఇన్వర్డ్ పర్సన్ ద అవుట్వర్డ్ పర్సన్ ఇస్ ద ఫిజికల్ బాడీ మేడ్ ఆఫ్ మడ్ the inward person is the lamp of god breath of god that has come from the nostrils of god that has brought life into lifeless mud adam was made out of mud let us make man in our form in our image the triune god the trinity the father the son and the holy spirit in the book of genesis the first book wanted to have fellowship with man and created the created man in his form and in his image after preparing everything that is needed for the sustenance of man god took mud and made in his image into his likeness into his form and breathed his breath from his nostrils into the breathed his breath into the nostrils of a breathed his breath into the nostrils of adam and adam became a living being how life has come into us it is through the breathing of his breath into our nostrils so the breath that we have in us is our inner being shariram kevalam nishprayojanam jeevimpa cheyavadu atme body the physical body is almost useless the one that is making us live is the spirit the spirit of the living god that is dwelling in us is making us live and making us to accomplish great marvelous and mighty things
Grace. Krupa. Na Krupa Niku Shalunu. Ni Balahina Tendu, Na Balamo, Paripurna Magutsunadi. Purindilku Rasana, Rendo Patrika Pananda Adhyamu Tomidava Vashanamu. Na Krupa Niku Chalunu ni Balahina Tiendu na Balamo Paripuna Maguchuna di Korindi Likurasana Rendo Patrika Panindava Adhyamo Tomidava Vachinamu. My grace is sufficient for thee. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse nine. What is grace? The Bible scholars define grace of Jesus Christ as the unmerited favor, unmerited gift, the blessings that flow without considering the merit of the person that is receiving the blessing. Even though a person has no qualification, no merit on his own, yet he receives the best from God. He receives Jesus Christ Himself, the salvation, Jesus Christ Himself, the glory of Israel, Jesus Christ Himself, the source of life, Jesus Christ Himself, the source of forgiveness of sins, Jesus Christ Himself, the source of reconciliation of man to God, Jesus Christ Himself, the way, the truth and the life. Tane Marga Mono Satya Mono Jeva Mono Chikolo Achena Chintimpako Yeso Niruga Kaparuge Dako Vesari Pokuma Prabhu Achata Ninuganchuno Tane Marga Mono Satya Mono Jeeva Mono Priyodu Yeso Nichu Chuchuno Impo Gatro and Povodama Tane Marga Mono Satya Mono Jeeva Mono Chikolo Vachina Chintimpako Yeso Niruga Kaparugedako Vesari Pokuma Prabhu Achata Ninuganchuno Vesari Pokuma Prabhu Achata Ninuganchuno Mulla Padano Poli Hatu Konone Mosa Poku Nivu Kadavarako Mulla Padano Poli Hatu Konone Mosa Poku Nivu Kadavarako Vesari Poku Ma Prabhu Achata Ninuganchuno Vesari Poku Ma Prabhu Achata Ninugansu no Atane Margamono Satya Mono Jeeva Mono Atane Margamono Satya Mono Jeeva Mono Grace Grace Rupa Na Krupa Niku Chaluno Ni Balahina Tiendu Na Balamo Paripuna Magutsunadi Purindila Kurasana Renda Patrika Panada Vadhyamo Tomeda Vachinamo My grace is sufficient to thee In your weakness my strength is made perfect Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse nine all the church members whether it is the church in Colossae, whether it is the church in Corinth, whether it is the church in Philippines, 
all the church members used to astonish when they have seen Paul with their eyes. Is this the person? Is this the apostle? Is this the great servant of the Lord that has written such wonderful lessons that have empowered us, that have empowered us, that have filled us with power, with spirit to live for Christ, to rededicate our lives through repentance that have brought us into repentance that has made us to convert into the likeness of Christ that has built the church that has sustained the church that has revived the church that has restored the church that has empowered the church that has evangelized the church is he the person Paul he looks so weak he looks so fragile how could such a single person accomplish so much for Christ this is what is called grace Amazing grace that said our eyes like me. What a wonderful conversion. What a wonderful, amazing conversion. Paul has never said, I am the holy of the holies. Paul has never said, he is holy. What Paul is telling? I have been the greatest of the sinners. My life without Christ is simple life. The advent of Jesus Christ into my life has brought everything, including forgiveness of sins, including eternal hope. Not only eternal hope, what is hope after all? Hope means the desire for the things that have not been seen yet. The desire to possess the things that have not been viewed yet. But it is more than hope what Paul had is because Paul was so sure he has already seen the things that are in store for him. Who has ever gone to heaven with uh, life by being present on earth by being in a body which of the human beings have ascended into the presence of the Lord Most High Paul was given such a great privilege to ascend into heaven to reach the throne of the Lord most high when he is still alive when he is still in when his soul is still present in the body Paul testifies that his soul was taken up into the third of heavens and he has heard the word so secret which should not be uttered by any human being and the words that Paul has heard from God's mouth were sealed The words that uh, Paul heard from God were sealed. There are so many mis mysterious things, there are so many marvelous things that have never been revealed. God says to Daniel, Daniel, this dream you should not reveal. This dream you should hide. This dream you should, kept a, you should keep as secret. Certain things God has allowed Daniel to reveal likewise. In the book of Revelations, the future happenings were so beautifully revealed to the beloved Apostle John. Apostle John writes of the future that is in store for human beings. The arrival of the Lord is near, so do not waste time. Make good use of time. Turn to Jesus Christ. Receive Jesus Christ as your Savior today. Joshua testifies in in the book of Judges in the book of Joshua me and my household will serve the living God what about you nenu nu na inti varunu jeevamagala devudaina yehova ne sevinchadamo Joshua has taken a very very wise decision that he and his household will serve the living God Yahweh the triune God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit 
what is the decision you have taken after listening to the gospel that Jesus Christ is God himself Jesus Christ is the son of God son of God means not different from God son of God means the one that has come in the form of God the one that has come in the place of God son of God me and my father are not different whatever I have received from my father I have revealed to you without hiding anything now that I have revealed everything to you I will no longer call you as my servants now that I have revealed everything to you I will call you as my friends what a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer oh what peace we often forfeit oh what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer have we trials and temptations is there trouble anywhere we should never be discouraged take it to the Lord in prayer can we find a friend so faithful oh will all our sorrow share Jesus knows our every weakness take it to the Lord in prayer Paul had the habit rather Paul possessed the habits Paul cultivated the habits similar to Jesus Christ the first and foremost being enduring suffering and the second being praying praying like Jesus and the list goes on and on preaching like Jesus having the burden for the perishing like Jesus healing the broken hearted healing the sick healing the demon possessed like Jesus the ministry of uh, Paul is more glorious than the ministry of Jesus Christ himself has Jesus Christ written any books Paul has written 14 books there is uh, no trace of ambiguity there is no trace of doubt in stating that the ministry of Paul is more a glorious ministry than Jesus Christ why is it so it has been predestined it has been predestined Jesus Christ has already stated those that believe in me will do things greater than what I do Jesus never wanted to be the top Jesus wanted never wanted to break the record of anyone Jesus Christ wanted to put himself in the last Jesus Christ uh, want to humble himself to the point of dying Jesus want to humble himself to the point of fighting with sin overcoming sin by shedding even blood you have not yet fought with sin to the point of shedding blood have you no who has uh, nailed you who has uh, put uh, thorns of a uh, crown on your head who has accused you with so many acquisitions nobody so the sufferings you have suffered are nothing how can you partake the glory of Jesus Christ how can you inherit the inheritance of the Holy See if you are so reluctant to suffer I want only good I want only blessing I want only prosperity I want only good health I want only honor I want only success I want only the sky how can you reach sky unless you go to the depths of the earth unless you go through the valley of humiliation unless you go through 
the castle of chain disappointment unless you go through the vanity fair unless you go through the land of uh, beulah how can you reach your final goal how can you reach your final destiny that is zion there are so many trials there are so many tribulations bible is very clear if you think that your travel on this planet earth is a bed of roses and if you think that you will not have any trouble if you do not have any pain after receiving jesus christ as your personal savior it's a mistake the word of the lord clearly says those that wanted to live according to the word will face more troubles more trials the satan's uh, aim the satan's focus will be only on those that believe in jesus christ and wanted to build their life on jesus christ the the end at the end those that build their lives on jesus christ will be victorious but to reach that victory man has to strive much man has to strive much not in his strength with god we shall do valiantly yehova mana pakshamuga undaga manaku virodhi evaru devunito devuni valana memo swara karyamulu jariginchadamu with god we shall do valiantly not by strength not by might i will do it with my spirit oh go paparvatama jeru babelu nadagimpano ఎంత మాత్రపు దానవు నీవ నేను చదును భూమిగ మారదవు ఓ గోప పర్వతమా జరు బాబెలు నడగింపను ఎంత మాత్రపు దానవు నీవ నేను చదును భూమిగ మారదవు నాట్ బై స్ట్రెంగ్ నాట్ బై మైట్ ఐ విల్ డూ ఇట్ విత్ మై స్పిరిట్ as god has promised in the world god has been faithful in fulfilling the promises given to paul my grace is sufficient for thee in your weakness my strength is made perfect paul was praying that uh, the thorn in his flesh be removed but what is the response of jesus christ jesus never said that he is going to remove the thorn in his flesh jesus never accepted the petition on the contrary jesus is telling let the thorn be in your flesh let the thorn be in your flesh it should pain you this pain should be there with you this suffering should be there with you because because you have received great revelations from me in order that you do not boast of your own talents in order that you do not boast of your own virtues this thorn of flesh is necessary in your body what a great revelation nowadays the preachers the bishops the pastors do not want any thorn in their flesh what a sorrow what a agony what a pain na krupa neku chaluno na krupa neku chaluno my grace is sufficient for thee in your weakness my strength is made perfect na krupa neku chaluno nee balahinata yandu na balamu paripurna maguchu unadi my grace is sufficient for the in your weakness my strength is made perfect have you received the grace of jesus christ if not this is the time the moment the gospel is preached to you repent for your iniquities repent for your sins turn to jesus christ and tell to jesus christ that you believe that jesus christ is the son of god you believe 
that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins just to make you righteous in the sight of God my grace is sufficient for thee in your weakness my strength is made perfect na krupa neku chalunu ni balahinata yendo na balamu paripurna maguchu unadi after receiving the promise from jesus christ all was not discouraged that the thorn in his flesh is not removed rather paul was empowered by the spirit of jesus christ to do glorious ministry to carry on great missionary work to travel to nook and corner throughout the globe and build the churches wherever paul went paul has planted the church paul composed 14 of the 27 new testament books what a wonder what a miracle this is the result of receiving the grace of jesus christ have you received the grace of jesus christ if you are to receive the grace of jesus christ you will shine forth the light of jesus christ in darkness you will be a blessing to all those that are around you you will be a great blessing to all those that are around you like paul centuries have passed centuries have passed all those that read the letters of paul the books of paul the works of paul will be filled with the grace of jesus christ this is the power of the word of god paul writes so clearly all the scriptures are breathed have god's breath in themselves the breath of god is existing present in all the world of god that is why the word has power to make us live krupa grace my grace is sufficient for thee in your weakness my strength is made perfect na krupa neku chalunu ni balahinata yendu na balamu paripurna maguchu nadi paul went through nakedness paul went through imprisonment paul went through hunger paul went through thirst paul went through being drowned in oceanic waters paul was in water oceanic waters when the ship was broken there have been many threats to his life paul received severe beatings all for the sake of gospel what is the end what is the result paul could say so confidently i have run a good race i have finished my race i have finished my race for unto me the crown of life is awaiting for unto me the crown of life is awaiting manchi poratam poraditni i have fought a good fight na parugu tudha muttinchitni i have completed my race for unto me the crown of life is awaiting na nimittamo jeeva kiritamo daachabadi unadi what is your hope have you accomplished have you run your race have you fought a good battle can you say with paul that you have fought a good battle can you say with paul that the crown of life is awaiting you can you say with paul that you will receive the crown of life from the author of life jesus christ the father the son the holy spirit the triune god what else is needed 
but to be appreciated well done faithful servant you have done a wonderful job you have been little in the faithful that has been entrusted to you because you are faithful in the little you are made authority you have been entrusted with many great things నీవు కొంచెంలో నమ్మకస్తునిగా ఉన్నావు గనక నీకు అనేకమైనటువంటి వాటిపై నేను అధికారం ఇచ్చి వచ్చున్నాను బహళ నమ్మకమైన మంచి దాసుడా వాట్ ఎ గ్రేట్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ వాట్ ఎ గ్రేట్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ పాల్స్ లైఫ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ గ్లోరియస్ వై ఇట్స్ నాట్ పాల్ దట్ హ్యాస్ చోజన్ గాడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గాడ్ దట్ హ్యాస్ చోజన్ పాల్ దిస్ ఈస్ మై చోజన్ వెస్సల్ హూమ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ చోజన్ టు బి ఎ విట్నెస్ ఫర్ మై నేమ్ before the rulers before the kings before the gentiles before the jews paul has been a mighty witness of jesus christ before the gentiles before the jews before the rulers before the kings wherever paul went there have been miracles there have been great great miracles paul could cast out the demons paul could cast out the evil spirits paul could deliver men and women of uh, evil spirits possessed by demons paul could raise the dead bring them back to life all the promises of jesus christ were true in the life of paul because paul possessed in his life what is sufficient for his ministry paul never had a great uh, assets great riches great funds who has ever funded paul did the in those times the churches itself the churches themselves were very very little where the churches were at their incipient stage incipient stage of growth who has funded paul nobody except jesus there is no source of hope to paul paul was dependent throughout his ministry on Jesus Christ on the power of Jesus Christ on the guidance of Jesus Christ that is why since uh, Paul was guided by the knowledge from the most high which is first of all pure and clean Paul was successful in all his ministry wherever Paul went he could build the church wherever Paul went there have been mighty conversions for one instance Paul was imprisoned for the sake of gospel in the night with the wounds paul and uh, his uh, co-worker silas was praying in the prison with singing with the uh, praises singing for praises to god what has happened there has been a mighty earthquake and uh, the prison walls were broken what a power in prayer neeti mantra vigyapana mana purakamaina dai devuni edata durgamalanu padadraite tu shakti galade endunu the prayer of the righteous person availed much Paul is the righteous man that has always had audience with Jesus Christ so wherever Paul was in suffering or in a state of being well always Paul was praying Paul was fervently praying Paul could write so clearly the reason for the root cause for all the evils that are existing this day the root cause for all the evils that we see today is the desire for wealth everyone 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 is after accumulating money 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 wealth 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 what for will you carry us dollars to heaven will you carry chinese rmb to heaven will you carry euro to heaven will you carry nas to heaven nothing i have come from my mother's womb naked and uh, with empty handed i will also go from this world naked and uh, empty handed knowing fully that everything is vanity 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 knowing that the fear of god is the one thing that is necessary in life to inherit eternal life should you postpone repenting for your sins baptizing in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit in water and washing away your sins and becoming a christian becoming a believer and walking in the path of righteousness walking and living according to the word of god loving your neighbor and loving god with all your heart with all your mind with all your soul with all your strength grace true religion in the sight of god is to care for the orphans and widows in their 
needs and to live a blameless life. They only at the top. Yeah, the hard the minute twenty bhakti yetanaga. With her under no Anathal no Varyoka, Ibandalo, Paramar Sinch to you, Mario Lokamalin Nimo, Varicantakunda, choose for it to you. Idiye, Devani Yadita, Yadhar, the minor twenty, Bhakti. This is the true religion in the sight of God. The true religion in the sight of God is. to care for the widows and orphans in their needs and to lead a blameless life how can we lead a blameless life how can we offer ourselves by showing sacrificial love for the good of the fatherless and the widows, but for receiving the grace of Jesus Christ, but for receiving Christ himself. The grace of Jesus Christ is granted to all humanity on the cross. This is the grace of God. While we were yet sinners, the sinless lamb he has been slaughtered for our sake, for ourselves to be righteous in the sight of God, the sinless lamb Jesus Christ has been slaughtered on the cross. This is the grace. The crucifixion of Christ on the cross is the grace that is given to man. Should you not uh, believe in this and receive the grace of God and become partaker of heavenly blessings, inherit the heaven, what is there in heaven? There is much. There is much beyond your comprehension. Eyes have never seen, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor human heart has comprehended the things that God prepared for those that love Him. Oh, heaven is not there, it is all a, a duplicate. Of course, there are so many duplicate news, of course, there are so many unreliable news in this world. So, we may. There is every chance that one may disbelieve the gospel. Unless I put my hand in the nail, in the nail pierced wounds of Jesus Christ, arms of Jesus Christ and side of Jesus Christ, I will not believe that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Thomas, Thomas the strong, ardent believer of Jesus Christ that has said that let us go with him even if we were to die, even if we were to be persecuted by the People in Jerusalem, let us not fear. Let us go with Jesus Christ. Let us offer our lives along Jesus Christ. Let us not fear. Let us follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. What a great determination. Thomas is not a fearing person. Thomas was willing to forego his life even in loving Jesus Christ, in following Jesus Christ to the point of death. This Thomas is doubting the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Then the resurrected Christ appeared to Thomas. Thomas, you said, you will not believe my resurrection. You will not believe that I have risen from the dead. You will not believe. You will not believe that I have overcome the world unless you put your nail pierced. Unless you put your finger in the nail pierced arm of mine, palm of mine, nail pierced palm of mine. Come, see the wounds that are caused by the nails that have pierced from my palms. After seeing, after putting his finger in the wounds caused by the piercing of nails in the palms of Jesus Christ, Thomas repented. Thomas believed. Thomas repented for his disbelief and said, My Lord, my God, Na Deva, Na Prabhuva. This is the grace of Jesus Christ. What Jesus has done on the cross is the grace to all humanity, irrespective of your virtue. Turn to Jesus Christ, confess your sins, inherit the 
inheritance of police may the lord provide audience his audience to all the audience in the name of my lord and savior jesus christ i pray amen